Good morning. We are talking about accountability and realizing that everything that happens in your life, every decision you make, honey, you made the decision to do it. You may have been advised otherwise by friends and family or coworkers, but you made the ultimate decision. So whether it's leaving a job, dating somebody, marrying somebody, I don't care if it's something silly like portraying a library book, ultimately the decision is yours. You're the one that's, that ultimately makes the decision to do whatever it is. So stop blaming everybody else. You can't. If you make the final decision to do something, it's on you, it's not on them. Now you can be torqued off at them for giving bad advice or not listening to their advice, however it moves, you know, whatever the circumstances are. But honey, the ultimate decision to do whatever it was, it falls on you. We are all accountable for our own actions, inactions, attitudes, behaviors, and the consequences. We're not responsible for anyone else but us. And also, while we're on the topic, I want you to talk to your kids about this. When they're toddlers, you can start teaching them accountability. You tell them to pick up toys and they don't, well, there's going to be consequences, but they can't be mad at you for those consequences because you told them to do whatever and they chose not to. Your kids are in school, they cheat on a test. They're accountable for that. They made the decision to do that. I remember back in the day when I was in school. Now we're talking a long, long time ago, but the, the cool thing to do back then, they would stage walkouts. And if anybody I went to school sees this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so rumor would go through all the students, you know, at two o'clock, we're all walking out and there would be some lame, stupid, idiotic excuse. But everybody, you know, you would see people at two o'clock start filtering outside and, you know, there may be bad consequences for that, but they're responsible because those that participated, that's on them. Whoever threw that fire alarm and made everybody walk out, that's on them. Take accountability, teach your kids accountability. If you start teaching them when they're young, by the time they're in high school, Life's gonna be so much easier. It's going to be so much easier. They're going to be so, they're, they're going to be better grounded and better individuals, better members of society because they're not gonna be blaming everybody you know, around them for what's happening in their life. Not saying that people can't get us into mischief, but ultimately you're accountable. Think about the people that are in the jails right now. And there are millions of people in jails and in prisons throughout the country, throughout the world. Okay, no, no matter what, if, assuming that they are guilty and they did indeed participate and it's not misidentification of someone, honey, ultimately you chose to participate in that act. And if you choose to participate, you are guilty. And it bites, but you chose to accept that. Accept responsibility for your actions, your inactions, your attitudes, behaviors, and the consequences. If children are taught that young, then by the time they're older, they know that if they're with a carload of friends and they think it's fun to, to rob somebody, they're all gonna go down for it because they're all accountable for their actions and the consequences. And there are consequences and you have to accept those. If you're big enough and bad enough to do the crime, then you're big enough and bad enough to accept the consequences. Teach them early. We only have ourselves to blame.